They say it's the last song. They don't know us, you see. It's only the last song. If we let it be, dancer in the dark. Toastmaster, judges, fellow members, and friends. A man dies like a butterfly. Life burns from the torch of the reaper. Like a song, or like a sigh of peace after a nice dream. Life is something that only a few ones think, regardless of all freedom or opportunities in their hands. Who cares what life is if we don't have enough time to think about it? We came to this world without a given plan. But we live to understand all we feel. We taste happiness and pain. And we force ourselves with the effects of these feelings just to become humans and learn from one another. That's how we give a meaning to our lives. That's how we choose the type of life we want to live. And then we live. Something we we'll still don't understand. And no one teaches us how to accept is the moment when a life comes to an end. No matter if we change the course of mankind for good or for evil, or if we waste all our time being selfish people. Soon or later, even if we don't want to, we all go away from this land with no owner. Someone leave this place, and all we have is a dream of hell or a heaven to treat life as a circle and just to hope to see him back. Life is not the same. When some of your friends are on your way, are no absent. We start to think all those moments and promises we made him. Now the only thing that remains from that person is a memory full of coincidences, misunderstandings, and a lot of lessons. A life without a part of you is a necessity that's hard to solve. Not many can stand up to the same after a long fall. Maybe it is because we have lost all chances to fulfill all those promises. Or maybe because he was the only reason to remain alive. We have, for we have forgotten that death is not a menace. It is a promise. Death is assured to beat us that it gives us a whole life to take advantage of it. Life doesn't end with death, you know? It ends when we just don't want to live and remain alive without a reason to fight for. That's why some said death is more a beginning than an end. The time is running out and everyone is getting older. But how many people really live a plentiful life? A life full of happiness and peace in their hearts? How many people gain happy years? Think about it. We have lost the real thing we messed up long time ago in search for a dream. Once this is finished, we return to our homes and sit down just to watch and wait the dead to come for us. Hope ends for those who never fought to fulfill their dreams, to accomplish those promises. We become veterans of war and love and wait for time to leave this place, sometimes without any taste of the gift, which is life. Most people waste their lives keeping feelings and gifts in secret from other people, afraid of the loss of a friendship, and repenting mistakes when it's too late to change a reality with an already useless truth. It's hard to live when no one tells you how to face your fears, how to live. Most grow up with a fearing to the same humans and worse, a fearing of love. To cry is a reaction that no one helps us to understand. And instead, we learn how to reject and control. Then, melancholy just trap us in the most solace moments. Separated from all our beloved ones, People that can't help themselves because they can't find a sad face through a smiling one. That's how it is necessary to talk to each other. Death 
is so inconvenient to all of us because when no one is waiting for it, it just comes and ruins all of our plans. We have to be thankful that we are still living another day of our ordinary lives. Of course, only if another day of our lives can be treated as an ordinary thing. So please, I don't care if you don't cry the tears I have never cried. I want you to leave this place, take a long breath and smile while you are staring at the sun. Because you are still alive, give a flower, a hug, or a few words of courage to the person you need to tell something and tell it before you become useless and receive flowers instead on your thumb. There is a requiem that must not be played, a requiem for the living, those people who have lost all of their hope because they thought life is on other people's hands. Life is on you. Life is on the love you give and receive from others around your way. And it's the only thing that remains forever through the ones you know. So live for love and then rest in peace. Satisfied with what you have done. The only way to remain here is in the memory of all of your friends.